Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we'll be talking about and exposing Jennifer Toledo. Who is Jennifer Toledo, you ask? Well, she is a founding pastor at Expression 58. It I know it sounds like a gay art exhibit, but it's actually a mega church in Los Angeles, and that's what we'll be talking about and exposing today in in this video but before we get that uh don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because liking really helps with those magical youtube algorithms that we all are controlled by and before i dive right into her let's talk about why i'm talking about her because this is a very odd fight for me to pick because i've never heard of her before this before recent events so Jennifer Toledo was featured on Woke Preacher Clips a few weeks or months ago. She put a copyright strike on Woke Preacher Clips' YouTube channel. If you are unfamiliar with Woke Preacher Clips, um, you are missing out. That, that's a short explanation. So Woke Preacher Clips is this tool that me, that a bunch of other people that do what I do use. They're basically like, the Grabian of uh, discernment media. Uh, that's a good way to put it. I mean, the, the leftists have right-wing watch. Uh, the people on the right use a service called Grabian to get uh, media news clips. And then we use Woke Preacher Clips, which is, you know, uh, basically a gimmick account that posts videos and clips of woke preachers preaching wokely. And it's a lot of user submission. Yeah, I'm not going to belittle woke preacher clips for not wanting to disclose their personal information in order to fight some heretics out in Los Angeles. I get that, and I'm not going gonna be you know I'm, he's not going to receive friendly fire from me. So what I want to do is I want to Streisand effect this video, show it to you, and then I'm going to go deeper into exposing Jennifer Toledo and her church that sounds like a gay art exhibit. So without further ado, let's invite their copyright strike and play this video. He wants to infuse you with hope of your future, with, with passion. I believe that God has come to truly reset us in this season expression. This is the invitation. Jesus is on the shore beckoning us. He's got breakfast for you and he is ready to reset you in every area of your life. You know, I've heard it said that crisis is the great accelerator. Crisis is the great accelerator. It's either going to accelerate fear or faith, right? It's going to accelerate change or destruction. Like crisis is the great accelerator. It invites us into the divine reset. You know, maybe this past season um, has felt like the enemy has just been working overtime to unleash some things in our culture, in society, in the world, in your life, in your family, in your business, whatever it is, right? But we remember that whatever the, the enemy means for evil, God turns for our good. That's who our God is. Our God turns for our good. You know, Time uh, Magazine, at the end of last year, uh, recently put out a cover called The Great Reset, um, which is really interesting. And uh, the, the subtitle was, The World is Under Construction. And uh, it said, the COVID-19 pandemic has provided a unique opportunity to think about the kind of future we want. And then Time partnered with the World Economic For uh, Forum to ask uh, leading thinkers to share ideas for how to transform the way we live and work. And what's interesting is the whole article that Time put out is based on this concept, this idea of never waste a crisis. Never waste a crisis. Because crisis provides a unique opportunity for a total reset. Wow. Wow. I feel like that's a prophetic word for us. Don't waste a crisis because the invitation at hand is a total reset. What is the world you want to live in? Like, what does that look like? Let's build it. And I think that is the invitation at hand. Let's truly build what God wants us to build in this season. 
So that is a clip that Jennifer Toledo does not want you to see. She does not want that clip getting out there because that clip makes her look terrible. It makes her look terrible. Like she is going along with the Great Reset unironically and unambiguously. She is supporting all this trying to let's tear down society and then never let a good crisis go to waste. In the famous words of Rahm Emanuel, never let a good crisis go to waste. And that is what she's championing. And that's like, that's just insulting. Like you want to think about some elitist mentality. Like, I don't know what her bank account looks like, but how just out of touch are you with your own congregation that you would celebrate the great reset? You would celebrate that as something that we should use affirmatively in a church service as an example for us to follow. Like how out of touch do you have to be with your own congregation with people who are working class? That it's just insulting. So that's who uh, she is. So let's dive into more of her background, more of her church, because this is pretty interesting here. So this is the website of Expression 58. As you can see, even their logo in the top left corner looks like a gay art exhibit. So, yeah, let's just dive right into this bad boy, because there's a lot of stuff to expose in this website uh, love, creativity, and justice. Not exactly the three things you see on a normal church website. And as you can see, they're pretty obviously an egalitarian church. I thought that was pretty obvious in the video that I just showed. So let's see their about uh, section. We see more about their uh, justice, love, and creativity. Which, again, I don't know how much creativity. I guess it goes back to the whole gay art exhibit thing. Jesus modeled love, creativity, and justice so brilliantly and lived Isaiah 58 to the fullest. At Expression 58, our desire is that we pursue Jesus. We become like him. May our lives be full of his love, expanded by his creativity, empowered to bring his justice. Um, we believe that justice is the restoration of every violation of love. That's not what justice is. And setting the world right again is what Jesus came to do. As a community, we are committed to seeking God about in the injustices of our day and courageously taking action to bring hope and healing. Life is precious and justice is beautiful. Um, I'm not sure how beautiful justice is. Uh, you know, seeing someone get decapitated for murdering someone is justice. I don't know how beautiful I'd consider that, but I, I digress. And I think there are a lot of overtones here that suggest that this is a pretty woke church. Obviously, the whole Great Reset thing was pretty obvious and on the nose, but uh, it could be a little more on the nose. Founders Jonah and Jennifer Toledo, senior pastors at Expression 58. And again, it's not even named Isaiah 58, which apparently is the life verse for this church. If we go to their beliefs, what's interesting about their beliefs here is that none of it mentions hell, despite the fact that there's a pretty, there's a lot of little areas of their belief. Very unique faith statement. They did not copy and paste the boilerplate as far as I can tell. Uh... We believe that God is changing Christianity. That God is changing the face of Christianity from religious traditions to relationship with the heart of God through the word and his spirit. You know, that sounds mystical. I'm not going to lie, that sounds very mystical. And I think that's what I would characterize this church as. It's a mystics church. We believe that God's justice will be demonstrated, that God's justice will be constantly demonstrated by Christians in issues. I think she means on issues. We pursue justice in areas such as 
such as amongst the poor, children at risk, orphans, foster care, foster kids, widows. And again, very odd faith statement, but uh, it just shows that this church does not very much care about their doctrine. If we look at their values, this is where it gets a little bit more woke, encountering Jesus and putting his brilliance on display. Uh, discipleship. I think uh, diversity is uh, more interesting. We bridge racial, cultural, gender, socioeconomical, and generational gaps, creating a community where everyone is welcome, value, and relates to one another in spirit, love, and unity. Why do they use diversity and then say unity? Don't they know that diverse, di, div, division, and un, unity, union, are antonyms? So it's wrong way to word that. Oh, and there we got it. Transformation. We put transformative love of God on display through evangelism, outreach, social justice, bridge building, and global missions. Let's assume that evangelism, outreach, and global missions are synonymous. I don't know what uh, bridge building that that's pretty vague. And then social justice. That is political. That's politics. Social justice is you you know trying to offset injustices using critical theory as a means to evaluate the injustices and then correct them. You can't have social justice without cultural Marxism. And I believe we got one more. And this is where it gets the craziest. So they do sozo inner healing sessions. And if you don't know what sozo is, um, it's called Betho, Bethel Sozo. That's what this is called. And why is it called Bethel Sozo? It's because it's named after Bethel Church. You know, the one in Redding, California, the one that has Bill Johnson, the one that believes in dead raising teams and stuff like that. That's where this church takes inspiration from. So you can schedule a Sozo special and whatever that entails. Now, I'm not one to believe that there's any validity to Sozo, but uh, the fact that they take so much inspiration from Bethel Redding, yikes, yikes. And this is just some of the horrendous material. I'm sure I could find more if I went deeper, but Jennifer Toledo, you are being put on blast because you wanted to mess with woke preacher clips I will not abide by that. Instead, I will abide by doubling down on what Woke Preacher Clips did, and I will expose more of you for the world to see. So that's all I got to say about that. Comment below what you think about you know, Jennifer Toledo and this video. And again, like the channel and subscribe to it as well. And if you want to support Evangelical Dark Web, Go to evangelicaldarkweb.org slash join. You can find that easily navigating through the website or it's linked in the description below. Have a blessed day and I will catch you on the next one.